Hello yogis, welcome to my channel Yoga Sutra. My name is Rashmi and today I have come up with a fabulous yoga sequence for a healthy liver. Our liver plays a key role in digestion and overall health. If we go a little bit more details, the liver's main job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before passing it to the rest of the body. The liver also detoxifies chemicals and metabolizes drugs. For all these jobs, the liver secretes bile and ends up back in the intestine. intestine. The liver also makes proteins important for blood clotting and other functions. To stimulate this vital organ, we shall keep our focus on abdominal cavity throughout our today's practice. I am going to include more and more forward folds, twists to squeeze and release the liver and other related internal organs such as gallbladder, pancreas and intestines. Just after the yoga posture, we shall do Kapalbhati Pranayam and finally rest in Savasana. Before we start, please do subscribe the channel and give a thumbs up once you watch the video completely. And in case you have any disease, liver related or other kind, please consult your doctor first because I am what I am, a yoga teacher. Now unroll your yoga mat and let's start yoga sequence for a healthy liver. Today's intention is, my body is my home, I keep my home sacred. Let's start seated in Vajrasana hips on heels and sit erect. Let the energy flow from tailbone to the crown. Inhale and contract your throat to set up Ujjayi breath, that ocean sounding breath to calm your mind and overall body. Place your one hand on the stomach and other on the chest. Take a deep breath and fill the abdominal cavity with air. Feel the stretch in this area. Exhale and release from the mouth. Vajrasana is a powerful posture which can fire up your digestive system and helps to stimulate the liver apart from the fact that this is the only yoga posture which is perfectly and preferably done after a meal. From Vajrasana, open up and come all the way on your mat. Let your forehead rest here. And once again activate the Ujjayi breath. Child's pose or Balasana helps to calm down your nervous system and stimulate the internal organs by the action of compression. And from here come to cat and cow posture or Marjorie Asana. It's different variations. Tuck your toes under. 
knees just below the hips points and palms under the shoulders allow some organic movements and open when you inhale and bring your tummy towards the mat open your chest exhale to round your back tuck your tailbone in and chin to chest you can go for various postures like open for plank pose keeping your tucks toes pressed downward dog and then close for child's pose all kind of organic movements are allowed just see what you feel comfortable and relaxing today cat and cow posture is wonderful posture for your spinal column and internal organs such as liver kidneys and the whole of the digestive system when you feel come on your stomach place your elbows below the shoulders and palm facing forward press all of your ankles knees and pelvic floor towards the mat and try to open your chest a bit more and here take full abdominal breaths and feel the pressure exerted by ground on your internal organs Release your elbows and bring the hands along your torso. Inhale and hover your legs. Release. Inhale once again and hover your legs and arms both together. release and inhale this time to lift everything from the ground except your liver that is your stomach take three deep breaths here release and from the ground Fold your knees. With both the hands, get hold of your ankles. Inhale and stretch back into bow pose or dhanurasan. Open your chest. Rock on your liver. That means stomach. and as you can see you are leaving no chance to not to stimulate your liver and surrounding area and next you can take your bow on sides another variation of bow pose and now open one leg get hold of your ankles with both the hands and take deep nice bend come to the center and repeat on another side you are really free to make any organic change or movement at any point of your practice there is no foundation or 
like certain number of yoga postures only the whole sequence is beneficial now sit on your mat with both the legs in front of you fold your left knee and hug tightly swipe your right hand around the knee and find a nice spinal twist exhale and push your knees with the right elbow to get deeper into the twist full abdominal breaths now counter your, your twist you can lean nicely and relax for a moment go for another variation of forward fold and twist in combined that is i hope called marich pose in the name of sesh marich and release come back relax and bend your right knee and repeat the twist on the other side full abdominal breaths without any doubt because you are working towards detoxifying your liver and entire internal organs counter your twist and marish pose on other side when you feel release now open your legs and open wide in front of the mat inhale and raise both of your hands together exhale head on your knees hold your heels and see how deeper you can go without bending your spine there is no right or wrong until you are bending from the hips joints navigate to your left leg take deep breaths here and when you feel comfortable come to the center now bend both the knees and stack them in v shape bottom of your body firmly on the ground and for that you can check your sit bones properly connected with the mat if you find some difficulty or feel a knee pain you can sit in double pigeon pose or in comfortable cross legged position place your right hand on the ground inhale and raise your left hand With your next inhale, press your rib cage in and bend even more deeper. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come to the center. Left hand on the mat. Right hand lifted. tuck your rib cage in and get a deep bend and switch your legs and repeat the process of side bends side bends keep your ears away from the shoulders
get yourself centered with few deep breaths and relaxing because next kriya or pranayam we are going to do is kapal bhati pranayam and requires a bit of work so never do kapal bhati or skull shining kriya when you are tired or agitated pregnant pregnant or some serious stomach related issues now sit comfortable cross legged take a deep breath in breathe out completely deep breath in once again and now try forceful exhale <laughs> we shall repeat this forced exhale and passive inhale and do in the set of 25 and uh, in the beginning go for two sets only gradually you can increase so let's start and you guys this completes one set relax breathe burp and when you feel go for another set Today you did wonderful work. It's time to relax and absorb all the postures you did in conjunction with the breath work. It will take you long way in your healing journey. Express your gratitude for the internal organs because they are working days and nights without pausing. there cannot be a better better way of thanking them what you did today on your mat for them and their well be my body is my home and i keep my home sacred thanks for watching you guys give a thumbs up Namaste